No offense to Peanuts and Cracker Jack, but it's probably safe to say that the hot dog is the official food of baseball. And much like all of the different Major League Baseball teams, there are different styles of hot dogs no matter where you grew up. When you think of baseball, you automatically think of hot dogs. When you go to a game, you gotta have a dog. You pay a little more for it than you want to, but there's nothing more American than baseball and hot dogs. In honor of the new baseball season, I enlisted the help of David Nager, general manager and owner of Detroit Coney Grill in Scottsdale, Arizona, to show me three classic hot dogs from across the USA that you can make at home or try at your local ballpark. Leading off from Detroit, Michigan, is the Detroit style Coney. Zach, you're gonna have the pleasure of making it. All right, I got my uh, gloves on already, All so right. let's do this, okay? Go ahead and grab a steam bun. Sure. This hot dog starts with a ground beef chili called Coney sauce, spooned on top. Oh no, come on, Zach, you gotta get in there. Put more put more than that. Yeah. My it. customers won't come back. There we go, ladle some chili on there. There you go, that's more like it. And after a hefty amount of Coney sauce, you top it with mustard and diced onion. It's a work of art, look at that. Good job, Zach. Batting second from Chicago, Illinois, the aptly named Chicago Dog. It is probably the most iconic, you know, dog out there. For this one, you're gonna do a couple slices of tomato, some dill pickles, onions, sport peppers, sweet relish, and mustard. This does look like a salad on a hot dog. It's it, it, lots going on up a, here. A lot. That's how they like their dogs. Hey, you know. Rounding out the lineup for my new home state of Arizona, the Sonoran Dog. I'm hearing about this Sonoran dog. I hear it's pretty different from the first two we've tried. Completely different. If you thought the Chicago dog had a lot going on, get a load of this. You start with a bacon wrapped hot dog and top it with diced tomatoes, grilled onions, mayo, mustard, and then add ketchup and finally some hot sauce. We always add our chipotle aioli that we make. And if you don't have a homemade chipotle aioli, a dash of hot sauce or something with some heat works just as well. If you want to try any of these for yourself, check out our Facebook page for the full recipes. And as any good journalist would, I had to try all three. All right, this first dog we're looking at is the Detroit style Coney dog. Is That's that right. right? That's right. I'm gonna dig in. Here we go. Oh man, nut chili is so good. I make fun of Chicago people all the time. I'm like, you guys put a salad on top of a hot dog. All right, here we are. Perfect, actually. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing it, I'm doing it the wrong way. The Sonoran seems to be having the most uh, things going on all at once right here. Oh wow. What do you think of that aioli sauce on top? That is really, really nice. We're celebrating the nation's pastime by learning how to make some hot dogs that are absolute home runs.